horses. Who doesn't love them in a Zelda game? No matter how many hours tick by, I still get excited every time a tiny herd of three or four horses comes into view. Coming across wild horses is always a treat, and I love scoping them out for different patterns or changes and finding that dream horse steed, even if I find an incredible horse later on as well, and then add to it. Thank goodness we get a, a lot of horse slots. There's special horses, of course, like, the, you know, the gold one, the giant white one, but even the normal horses get me very excited. <laughs> I am enthusiastic about them. Let's look at this. Sorry for the noise and stuff. Um, if you hear outdoor noises, it's because I'm outdoor. Pretend we're in like Hyrule Field. I don't know, somewhere, something. So this is the compiled list um, by Evergreen, Everdream Tree, and it is comprehensive. It is going to be linked so you can check it out on your own. Please check it out. Massive, massive thank you for compiling such a thing. Um, because it has a lot of information I didn't know about either. So let's kind of go through and learn about the horses of Tears of the Kingdom, shall we? They've got different eye colors you can look for. And I'm definitely going to need to check out for my horse. My horse is now what eye color they are. So all horses with colored heads have a long white stripe on the forehead. There can also be the apron. Um, where the nose is white. I didn't know the word apron for that, I guess. Is it apron? Which also runs to connect the white stripe on the forehead and then often diluting the nose tip to pink. That's cute. And I can see it. It goes pink to white. And then here, if it's not, if it's solid, it'll look slightly different from the body color. Okay, so as you can see, you can have different details with the snout and stuff, the apron. You can also have a socked horse. I think this is the other clear difference that you might see while traversing, or at least that's the one I was able to catch most if I'm just out in the wild. Whether or not they've got white hair on the foot or a solid color, and it might be different from the body color still. But not only can you have the socked legs, but you can also have feathered or non-feathered hooves. Look at this. I didn't know this detail at all. I wasn't paying attention. Now I'm very curious to check and see their hooves every time I see them. To be honest, I like the non-feathered, but I feel like I've only seen feathered. I, I guess that's not true, but now I'm gonna be looking. Then of course the body patterns as we touched on. So body patterns come in solid. It's, um, I'm not sure, overall, it's speckly. And then splash with blots all over. Really like this stuff. Blanket, and then there's like with the saddle and stuff, it looks like. Something extra with about the blanket, Blanket patterned horses is the white stripe on the forehead. In their case, the stripe is instead a very much smaller spot that easily hides under the hair. Interesting. And it causes white nose spotting to be disconnected and smaller compared to the usual apron white nose pattern. It also doesn't give the white enough room to let the nose be pink. So the only blanket pattern horse I've seen with white enough one is a pink one. So interesting. And then leopard, as it's called here, is of course like a dalmatian and then the nose and feet always white and as they mentioned as well needs to be unlocked before appearing in the wild there's four patterns five if you unlock spots with spot let me touch on the special horse spot i actually missed spot's existence until late but spot is accessed from a quest with lester at lookout landing i think i missed it because you need to have some progress done first with regional phenomena but eventually you'll be able to go uh, help out the stable by ultra handing the roof back together very simple and that should unlock Lester's spotting spot quest once the stable at Lookout Landing has been assembled again. He talks about his lost horse spot, which is a very unique horse. You go get it back, he says you can keep it, and now you can find spot horse patterns in the wild as well. And then, of course, this comes to also this conundrum of, I don't think you can get uh, black spotted ones in the wild. They haven't been able to, it looks like, either. I don't know. I if, if you know something, let me know. But I think Spot is staying unique. And then, of course, it goes into stats and everything. The gentle nature, wild nature, stuff like that. But look at the different horses here. It's very, it's compiled nicely. So here's pink with the solid. There's it with like the saddle kind of back, the splotchy stuff. 
the splash, the Dalmatian with different main colors. That's really cool. Black, you can obviously get just the solid. You can get it with some socks, little like apron and solid socks, the pink nose, you know, socks, all that. You can get this guy whose mane is like, it even looks like silverish almost. Maybe it's just a picture or something, but you've got that going. And then you've got these other guys. You can get all these different variants. I really love the splash variant. Here he is with the dark mane and then here he is with a light mane. And yeah, I just really like them. And then this last one I really like, that's, that's pretty cool. I really love all the different splashes of color. Um, the dots and patterns ones a lot. There's chestnut varieties and you can see, you can get them socked solid there. You can get them with different manes and then different, you know, subtle differences going on. It's really neat. I Oh, let me look out for their hooves. Look, see, this one's, a, it's got the non-feathered hooves. Super interesting. And then we've got some more, the same stuff. Just little, little subtle differences here. And it's really cool. This one is like Dalmatian. It's like the brown Dalmatian though. It's, it's no longer the black one like with spot or anything. But no, they're so cute. And then he's got a striking orange mane. Then there's brown, of course, brown, solid, different things like that. You can get a Pona via Amiibo if you want to do that. That's just reminded me, but that's another special horse that's kind of exclusive. And then goes all the way down once again with the spots. I really love the spotted leopard pattern. And then there's light brown, which honestly I haven't seen a lot of at all. I feel like I think I found one in the wild that I think was like uh, this one with the white mane, the the splash. I think I call it, I called him chocolate milk or something. And then look at that Dalmatian with the really white looking mane right there. And then purple gray. And this one's an also, also a pretty cool guy. He's got the socks you can get. He's got the face. Diff with the socks or no way. Yeah, you get the idea. Here's all the different guys. It says all purple grays are wild and there's no non-solid purple grays. Very curious. But here's light blue. One of my favorites. I really love using the light blue horses and seeing them, especially the dots and whatnot. And then we, whoa, we have the regular blue, who is also very striking to see. Look, see, I, li I like this one. I think I had one kind of like this with the black um, and feathered hooves down below. Very cool. My favorites are definitely like the pink and the light blue. I like a lot, but I have a variety of horses. They, evolve, they also include horse farming spots, which is super handy to look at. So much information and for all these locations on where to farm these wild ones. This is great. Like this is what gets me go as a shiny hunter too. I mean, I love it. I love the just the slight variations. And that's why I'm all in this, you know, I have to know all the different horse stuff. It's super interesting. Unique horses, herd and stable locations, tad upgrades. It's got a lot of info on the horses. That is fantastic. Please check this out. This is a lot of work and it even goes into detail about other stuff, but I definitely wanted to highlight at least the coloring and the patterns because it showed it so very nicely, comprehensively. And this is super awesome. This did catch my eye though as well. Very curious about this. So the leopard pattern acts like white spotting and it comes in dilute. I have not found a black leopard yet, even through, though the quest to unlock leopard pattern rewards you with a black hair, black spotted leopard horse. Leopards are also, all leopards also seem to come with main colors that are either full colored, blonde, or white. Even for colors that don't normally have those, such as pink horses are normally always blonde, but leopard pink can come in pink or white hair too. Really would love to know where this is from. Randomly found in Google image search. The leopard horse you get from the quest line is black spotted with black hair, and I still have never seen any kind of black spotted horse in the wild yet. The closest is a light brown leopard horse, but the, the mane is distinctively white and not silver. The spots are light brown instead of black. It does have black hooves. And there is no, th no such thing as a truly whiteless horse. There will always be at least a white stripe running down the nose between the eyes or spot on the forehead. Super interesting. I think the only white horse would be a special horse, like Zelda's horse, that you can get in the game without an amiibo. Um, let me see. I think right here. So let's let me look. Let's look at this real fast. Um, 
just to see. The special horses are like the golden horse that you can get from the quest. You can also get the giant white stallion. You can get Spot, and then it talks about Epona with Amiibo, and then you can get Ganon's giant horse if you have Breath of the Wild save data. If you don't have Breath of the Wild save data, you can still get it. You can find him roaming between Hateno Bay and Deep Back Bay, and then Zelda's white horse. If you have Breath of the Wild, you'll already have it, and if you do not, you can still find it. Roaming in a herd on the grassy plain on the cliffside above the end north of Skull Lake in Deep Akala. Super cool stuff. Like I said, I love the details. I love the horses, the little hunting for different ones. Like I told you, I still get excited every time I see various horses in the distance and checking out their patterns now not only checking out their patterns but going back and looking at their hooves too as well as manes and just all that stuff the little dots on their head or stripes so cool so once again incredible stuff right here and i had to do something like this i like if this wasn't made i feel like i would definitely be on the job because i love seeing all the different variations of the horses and stuff so yeah i really hope this was helpful and enjoyable and like i said i will have all this stuff down below because it is great